Should be good. Okay, so this is gonna be a real quick video. Today I'm installing the floor. Um, I've already got it uh, cut down a little bit to size here. What I did is took it on my miter saw and cut the width down to be about three inches of overlap. Um, that way I didn't have a whole bunch. It was actually, this stuff is uh, super thick commercial grade. So it was, it was pretty hard to work with and it was extremely heavy. So um, once I got it cut down, I was able to roll it out into the trailer a lot easier um, and kind of get it sized to fit. And once I got it rolled out, all the way up front there i just trimmed off the back obviously i got some more to trim off here i just wanted to make sure i had um some more to work with as i glue it down just in case it gets a little uneven or something but what i did was went with a factory edge over here against the wall and laid that up there flush um so then all i'm gonna have to do is trim this side now so i'll just trim one side with the razor blade i'm gonna put this down with this liquid nails extreme heavy duty this stuff is rated for uh extremely cold temperatures it says 22 degrees all the way up to 120 so uh today's about 35 here um in colorado so should stick pretty good it's uh rated for wood and rubber um i'm just gonna lay that down in a z pattern and uh work my way um down the flooring here so that's what we're doing today all right here's what i got going on so I trim the back off here there was actually a a nice um, piece of metal here as a guide. I just followed that. There's um, a piece of aluminum trim that is going to cover this anyways. Comes all the way back to here. So um, got that trimmed off, the back trimmed off there. And then I'm going to come in here on this side and got my heat gun and I also got a heater running in here to warm this up a little bit. But uh, I'm using the heat gun to make this more pliable. That way I can get it down here in the corner. Now I'm going to come along with a straight edge and cut it. Um, up here, I uh, cut this overlap to go to the edge of the door. There's also another piece of trim that goes over this, so this will make it uh, super clean looking. Cut it in the door. I want. Tango's out here helping me as usual. Boy, come on. Okay, so I rolled my flooring back to the door here. So that's where I'm gonna start. Um, I'm just gonna lay this liquid nails down here and roll the floor forward until I get to the front corner here. And then I'll do the same thing with the back half. I'll roll that up and work my way back. Okay, so I know I told you I was gonna work from middle to front and then middle to back, but this material is so thick, it's actually really hard to roll up to get it all the way up here um, and, and work my way back. So uh, I found it a lot easier just to uh, pull this half over and we're gonna glue this half down and roll it out and then do the same with the other side here. So I think that's gonna work a lot uh, better and it just, it's, it's actually really easy just to pull it and, and roll it this way. So um, this is what I would recommend if you go with a material that is this thick. Uh, I think the Husky stuff is a little bit thinner so it might be a little easier to work with. Um, that's the material that you can get at Home Depot. I ordered this online so um, it's a little bit thicker, a little, little uh, heavier duty. So. That's what I'm gonna do, we're gonna work.
Okay, got the rest of the glue down. I actually had to run to uh, Lowe's and pick up some more glue. I went through um, five 10 ounce bottles of this for uh, this six by 12. I might have used too much, I don't know. Um, but rather use too much than too little, I guess. So this floor should be stuck pretty well um, to the plywood here. So gonna roll it out um, and uh, use the roller to roll the rest of the floor out, make sure it's adhered good and we should be good on the floor. And I'm gonna start uh, cutting the wall panels here. Here's a final look at the flooring. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I'm glad that I purchased this product. All in all on this phase of the project, I spent about $287 on the flooring and adhesive and about an hour and a half of my time. So next we'll be installing the walls. So stay tuned for that episode. Should be good.